I'm Stephen Sanders, and this is your Daily Energy Report. Gift of Energy certificates available through Consumers Energy. Holiday shoppers in Michigan who are looking for a practical gift might consider a gift of energy certificate from Consumers Energy. Those receiving gift certificates just mail them with their monthly Consumers Energy bill payment, and the amount of the certificate will be deducted from the bill total. The certificates are available in amounts of $10, $20, $25, and $50. Their certificates cannot be redeemed for cash and are available at Consumers Energy bill payment offices, credit unions, or can be ordered through mail by money order. The certificates don't have the buyer's name on them, so if desired, it can anonymously help someone in your family or neighborhood. Novellus breaks ground on $250 million aluminum recycling plant. Novellus, the world leader in aluminum recycling and rolling, has recently broken ground on a $250 million aluminum casting and recycling center in in Nachterstedt, Germany. Constructed adjacent to the company's existing aluminum rolling mill, the new center will enable the company to produce 400,000 metric tons of aluminum sheet from recycled materials annually, projected to be the world's largest. By increasing the recycled metal input, Novellus saves natural resources while enabling its customer to create products with a higher recycled content and smaller environmental footprint. Using recycled aluminum as input material requires only 5% of the energy used to make aluminum from raw materials, thus avoiding 95% of the greenhouse gases associated with production. Demand for natural gas-powered vehicles. Surging gas production has led the drilling industry to seek out new markets for its product and is setting their sights on the transportation sector. Touting natural gas as a cheaper and cleaner alternative to diesel and gasoline, government officials are trying to boost demand for natural gas buses, taxis, and heavy-duty work vehicles, while simultaneously encouraging development of the fueling infrastructure that will be needed to keep them running. So don't be surprised if you notice that the trash truck seems a little quieter. It's probably already running on natural gas. Gas prices in Ohio up over last week. Ohio drivers heading back to work after the long holiday weekend are seeing higher gas prices. The average price for a gallon of regular gas was $3.52, which is seven cents higher than a week ago. And it is the third week in a row that prices are up. Ohio pump prices are up 27 cents from this time last month. Last year at this time, drivers were only paying $3.14 a gallon. Experts say instability in the Middle East is leading to higher oil prices. Asia report, China dominates 2011 wind installations. China dominated the global wind market in 2011, installing three times as many wind rotor blades than the U.S., its closest rival. According to research published by Global Data, China held 59% of the global market in 2011, with its 37,385 installations. The Global Data analysts predict that the global demand for wind power will show steady growth until the end of the decade. It also noted that blades for offshore wind farms will take a greater slice of the market. In 2011, blades destined for offshore wind farms accounted for just 1% of the global market. By 2020, this is expected to rise to 11%. For more energy news and analysis, visit dailyenergyreport.com.